What's going on everybody? Juan from Blueprint PC here. If you bought the Dell Inspirant 7000 gaming laptop and either had a hard drive failure or maybe you went with the baby hard drive to uh, opt for the better video card like I did, uh, and you wanna just either upgrade that or again, repair your hard drive or replace it with a faster one, then come check this video out and we're gonna show you how it's done. What's going on everybody, Juan from Blueprint PC here. So like I told you guys, we're gonna install a hard drive on a Dell Inspiron 7000 gaming laptop. Uh, long story short, my motherboard, my personal rig died, so I need to get this thing uh, kind of boosted up a little bit here so I can still do my video editing on this and play some games at the same time. Uh, it's got a 1050 Ti in it, so it's not too bad there. Uh, the biggest her Achilles heel for this guy here is its hard drive. It came with an SSD M.2, which is great, but it's only 240 gigs, so we're gonna install a second hard drive on this one. This will also be the same uh, plan you're gonna take if you want to add another hard drive or replace the current hard drive you have that is failing on this one, if that is your case. All you're gonna need, well, a hard drive. I just got another 240 gigabyte here from, uh, this is actually the Inland brand that you get from Mi uh, Micro Center. So, That'll give me just enough space to get me through uh, for the time being. And you're gonna need some screws, little baby screws. Um, you're gonna need some, essentially the same screws you're gonna do for your hard drive mounting in a case and whatnot. So if you have extra ones from a previous build or if you need to find them, there are little three millimeter screws you can get them on Amazon or even if you went to a micro center or something along those lines or New Age have as well. And then you're gonna need a basic little toolkit, little screwdriver. Uh, it's gonna be a Phillips head, it's gonna be all you need here. And then you'll be good to go. So let's go ahead and start pulling this puppy apart. All right, so long story short here, I'm gonna take this guy, we're gonna flip it over, and there's one screw on the entire bottom here that holds all this in place. It's a captive screw, so you don't have to worry about it falling out or less likely for it to fall out and just get lost in space. So go ahead and take this bad boy. Boom, it's done, you'll see this pops up a little bit and essentially you're just gonna go around the edges of the laptop bottom here and pull up on it gently i mean you gotta give it a little bit of force but you don't gotta break it so boom there's your bottom panel here and once that's off you're good to move forward so now you'll see here i'm gonna try and use this other camera that i have set up to try and show you things better um, two cooling fans here cmos battery your wi-fi card i believe right there it says wlan on so let's hope so uh, this is the standard ssd that does come with it i'll show you guys here as well uh it's like i said m.2 format which is nice it's it's a great option to have and it does help in a laptop especially getting every little ounce of performance you can out of it uh, your battery right here and then this is the missing space where you can install a second laptop at, uh, hard drive or if your current hard drive, like I said, is failing, this is where you're gonna find it. It'll be sitting in this little home right here. So uh, first thing we're gonna need to do here is you're gonna see your battery cable. So you're just gonna pull this out of this little notch here, and then we're just gonna get this bad boy disconnected. Once it's disconnected there, we'll be good to go ahead and move forward to the next step. You don't need to pull the whole battery out, so don't worry about that. Onto the hard drive uh, portion right here. You'll see these, these little brackets on the side, and we're gonna do is take those off and then we're gonna attach them to the hard drive. So it's again, it's not too hard to do this. It's pretty quick and simple. I'm gonna try to do this as quick as possible. If it takes me too long, I'll go ahead and do a little quick time lapse. All right, screws are out. Grab the brackets, should come up and out. And now it's fighting a little bit. All right. With these brackets, you're gonna see when you pull them out, going from the battery side of the chassis, you're gonna to wanna to use the furthest away hole in here. I'll try and hold up to this camera here really quick for you. So the mounting hole for the hard drive, that's again, batteries on this side, hole here, hole here. You're gonna to wanna to use the one that's further away from the battery side, depending on how you have it orientated for you. And that's where you use to mount the hard drive too, just so you get enough room to get your cable in there and mount everything appropriately with no issues. So. Go ahead and line that up and start taking your hard drive screws that you have on hand and get this bad boy uh, mounted in. And just another quick side note, um, I always recommend just threading them in a couple threads by hand. If you are using like an old electric screwdriver or something along those lines or a bit driver, what it may be just to prevent from cross threading. So 
little safety tip from when I used to work on cars. But we'll go ahead and get these brackets put on and before I install it, we'll get back to it. All right, everybody, I'm back again. So now that we're looking at this, you can see that the brackets are on and your pin sides up. So we're gonna take this, take your cable here, go ahead and carefully get that lined up for you. And get this secure in place and make sure you don't pinch the cable in any weird form. Go ahead and get that set in place here and we're good there. So now all you need to do is go ahead and take your mounting screws that came with it, they were for your brackets, and go ahead and get these installed. All right, everybody, once you have those secured in place, everything's nice and snug, you don't need to torque it down to all crazy high hell. Just go ahead and snug everything up, make sure nothing's gonna wiggle free. And before you put the cover on, make sure you plug in your battery, because otherwise you're gonna put the cover on, you hit the power button, it's not gonna work, and you're gonna scare the living shit out of yourself. So go ahead and get that plugged back in. Push it down, make sure it's fully in there, and go ahead and reroute your battery power cable underneath that little tang that has sitting there. I know you think, oh, that's not that important, but uh, it's actually there to prevent it from rubbing and chafing on the back and then eventually not working. So then from there, go ahead and get your bottom panel lined up. Get that seated in place. Go ahead and snap the outer edges down. Don't push down too much in the center there. You want to actually let the screw threads get started first. So go ahead and start threading that in. Then you can make sure that's all there and then go ahead and there you go. Screw is nice and tight and that is all. From that point forward, just make sure you go into your disk management and uh, initialize the drive so that way you can use that extra disk or again, if you're a new disk, uh, you're gonna have to go through and totally uh, start from scratch and reinstall windows and things like that. The factory drives on this do have partitions in them to allow for the recovery option. So if you didn't already, make sure before you do this whole pull apart that you make a you know a installation uh, drive so that way you can go ahead and reinstall Windows and go from that process from the scratch if you're replacing the hard drive again. So from one that's failed. Outside of that guys, thank you for watching. Please uh, check out some of my other videos and if you found it helpful, go ahead and hit the like button, hit subscribe and uh, we'll catch you in the next one.